All right, so now we're just going to do a basic mitered cut. I'm setting it at, I'll set it at 20 and lock it off. There's different notches that stop you at the basic cuts, like 45s and 30s. All right, so now I'll bring it down. And I'm going to try to split my corner right there just so I get a nice angle. All right, so that was a 20 degree mitered cut. Now, look, think of it how I want you to think about mitered cuts as picture frames. All right, all those corners have to come together, right, to a point. So that's how you make those mitered cuts and you make them the same, and then that's how you get that picture frame mitered angle, okay? When you're going around a wall, so you've got a wall like this, and if I'm putting crown molding in up on top, I have to do a mitered cut so that the crown molding comes together right here and right here flush up against the wall. Mitered angles, okay? All right. That is the basics you have to remember. A lot of times what I'll do, if I'm gonna be doing a lot of cuts, I'll take one of the vacuums and I'll clamp one of the hoses right into this area somewhere so that it picks up more of the dust because then I have to vacuum less. But when you are done using this, I need you to grab a vacuum and go vacuum it off so that the next person can use it. It only takes a few seconds. Also make sure that you're checking the vacuum bag here. It's getting old. It does still pick up some of the sawdust, so you need to check that. Um, if you have long stock, you'll see that this will fit long stock here. If it's really long stock and you need help because you're cutting at the beginning of the board, get somebody to hold that end, okay? And make sure it's flat and it's up against the fence so everything is squared off. Awesome. Okay.